Hello everybody, this is Rick with Stumped, and I'm here today to play Neo Scavenger. Yes, after playing this war of mine, a few of you guys suggested this game. You said it might be right up my alley, and it is. It's this survival, post-apocalyptic, turn-based, procedural game. It checks off all the boxes of things that I like. Uh, I have poked around this game just a little bit to get a feel for the basic mechanics of it. Haven't had a lot of time to play it yet. Still a real newcomer. What I do know is that... Uh, this game, it's all about luck of the draw. We could uh, get really lucky and find some really awesome stuff which will help us survive as long as possible, or we could get really unlucky and uh, just completely crap out on finding stuff and freeze in a day's time. I really hope that isn't the case. I really hope we survive as long as we can, but let's see. Let's see how our luck plays out. So this game, it's uh, pretty complicated while at the same time being pretty uh, pretty minimalist. The graphics, they're not the best, but that doesn't mean that this game isn't great. It is. Uh, just really simplistic graphics. Really reminds me of a time there were these choose your own adventure style games where you really had to leave a lot up to the imagination. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to use our imagination to paint a picture, to tell a story today, and we're going to have a lot of fun doing it. But before we do, we're going to build our character. So we've got some abilities to choose from here. You can see we've got 15 points uh, to spend on the abilities. Each of these boxes represents a point. So say we wanted to use melee, that uses four points. Down here, we've got some flaws. So let's see, say I wanted to be a little fragile. That would give us four extra points to spend on abilities, but it would uh, prevent us from being tough. And at the same time, it would, uh, make us more susceptible to infections and healing would be slower. That sounds terrible. I don't think that that's a good trade uh, and I'm too new at this game to take that gamble. So I'm not gonna play with these flaws, but if you guys were so inclined, you could. No, no, no. What we're gonna do is we're gonna build a, uh, a stealthy character. One that doesn't wanna pick fights, so I'm gonna steer away from being strong and tough. We wanna be athletic. We wanna be stealthy. We wanna be agile and, uh, and, and smart about our play so what else do we want to do we want to do eagle eye and we want to do hiding those all sort of go together pretty nicely that leaves us with eight points to use and what do we want to use those on uh kind of feel like being a medic that would be beneficial also electrician only counts one it's only one point so let's go ahead and take that why not and that leaves us with three points to use and look at this mechanic cost exactly three points so let's take that confirm we're ready to roll and we start out disoriented slumped over the base of an empty cryo sleep pod it's still damp from cryo fluid this thick dust covers our skin and it leaves a clean spot on the ground where a large o5 is painted and across the room there's an open door to the hallway and a broken window leading outside just as we gather our wits an unearthly scream erupts from down the hall beyond the doorway Something's coming, you guys, and it's coming fast. So what do we do? We've got five options here in addition to simply jumping out the window. I don't want to just jump out the window. I want to see what we can do here. We can uh, find a place to hide. We can rig the door to stay shut. Uh, two different ways, being an electrician or a mechanic. We can use our medic ability to emergency dump another stasis tank, or we can just athletically dive through the window. Here's what I want to do. <laughs> I want to dump another tank. Let's see what happens when we do that. So let's Go ahead and confirm that choice. And from the control panel, we can call up the emergency stasis evacuation code. And in doing so, this will override the normal thawing procedure and dump an entire tank's contents onto the floor instantly. And the rush of the sub-freezing fluid might scare off the monster. And maybe the monster will go for the sleeper instead of us. All right, so we've got two tanks here. We've got a CEO and we've got a reality show star. Ooh, which one do we want to dump? I want to dump the reality show star. Let's dump those contents, guys. Holy shit, look at this thing. Punching in the code for the celebrity, you rush back into your own tube and reseal it. Tank number one starts to hum, and the seal breaks with a roaring rush of fluid. The room squeals and flexes with the chilling cold of the liquid nitrogen covering the floor. Within moments, the nitrogen is boiled off at room temperature, leaving a frozen mansicle on the floor. Initially, the dogman backs off, unsure the commotion that just occurred. However, hungry, he quickly reaches, uh, replaces concern as the smell of the thawing flesh catches his attention. He starts dragging the body off, probably to his lair. And this was just, and his career was just warming up, you guys. Oh, what a pun. All right, so here we are. We're at a cryo facility. Uh, a reality star show was just dragged off by a dog man. 
Uh, some crazy shit is happening here. Let's see. We've got a uh, search. Let's search the console and see if we can't find any records here. So we search the console and we see that uh, records for three people. One, Anton Blubber. Now he's in tank one, so we know that he was the reality show star, okay? So that guy, he's gone. And he was from Detroit, Michigan. We've got uh, tank number five, Philip Kindred. That must be me because I was laying on 05. And uh, we've got tank number six, which is Lloyd Blankcheck. Blankcheck, that must be the CEO. Yep. Typical Blankcheck CEO. All right. Now what can we do? We, uh, we've already searched the console, so let's go ahead and jump out the window. And here we are outside of the cryo facility. Uh, we decide to go outside and see if we can figure out where we are. We avoid the broken glass because we're agile like that. Uh, we get past some rustling plants, and it's cool outside. It's damp. It's probably the morning. And in the distance, we hear a gunshot ring out. We cock our head, and we listen, but just as soon as we've heard it, it's gone. So we're obviously not alone here, but that doesn't make us comfortable because there are armed maniacs on the loose. We're in the parking lot of the cryo facility. Everything looks uh, disused. Looks like uh, it hasn't been used in quite some time. Worst of all, nothing looks familiar. We don't remember this place. We don't know who we are. We're frustrated, but we calm ourselves down we say we might as well take a look around let's take a peek all right it's raining which means the outdoor temp is uh it's getting colder this is not good we are wearing no clothes <laughs> we just have this sheet on we got a couple shards of glass with us uh all right and here we are each grid represents a new area to move into and you can see up here moves left we have five moves uh and we are barefoot, which means that we're negative one move, okay? So we need to find some shoes that we can move faster. All right. These little magnifying glasses mean that we can search the grid. And when they're outlined in yellow, that means there's new stuff that we don't already have on our person. So this is going to say, knowing that we have glass shards and we have a hospital gown. Oh, and also a medical bracelet. It's going to say, okay, there is something different here than just shards and uh, medical gowns. So let's check it out, see what it is. And here, these green bars mean that there's a good chance that we'll find loot. There's a good chance that this is safe and there's a really good chance that we can sneak here if we wanted to. So those are all good things. We can use our medical or our eagle eye abilities here. I used medic last time. Let's use eagle eye this time and see what we can't find. And we found some stuff. What did we find? Oh shit, look at that. Okay, obviously there's the broken window and the glass shards that we saw before. But now there's also this multi-tool, which is uh, in pretty good condition. And we can take that, we'll put that in our hand. Come on, put it in your hand. There you go. So we're armed now. This right here, this would be where we would have a bag if we found one. Currently we don't have a bag equipped, which means that anything that we uh, find, we can only carry in our hands until we find another way to carry it. So let's keep on moving here. See if we can't find anything else. Now we've got four moves left. We used one of them to scavenge. Let's move down into this little town here. As we approach the town, there's no sign of activity. Buildings stand in ruin. Vehicles are overturned and blackened with fire. Explosion marks radiate outward from the walls and pavement. And in the distance, strange looking creatures circle in the sky like monstrous, leathery vultures. The world has drastically changed from what you knew. Some sort of cataclysm has befallen the earth, returning mankind to the dark ages and along with it your hopes of finding a warm meal and some answers we decide to look around and scavenge for what we can holy shit you guys something crazy has happened and this isn't just like nuclear war or like uh, uh some kind of world war three scenario there are monsters in the sky there are dogmen and cryo facilities shit is getting crazy you guys holy crap all right let's scavenge and see if we can't find some answers we've got a storage shed and two abandoned mobile homes. Uh, let's try one mobile home first. All right, low loot. It's safe. Sneak. Here's what can happen. We can uh, use our mechanic ability. Looks like lowers our loot rate but increases our safety. Or we can use sneak or hiding, which uh, increases our sneak but also lowers our loot rate. It seems pretty safe, so I'm going to not use either of those in hopes that we can find some loot here. And we don't. But nothing lost. We have two moves left. Let's go ahead and scavenge the storage shed. All right, let's... From that, nothing. All right, we've got one more place to scavenge. Come on. 
Nothing useful found, and we've likely alerted nearby creatures. Oh, god damn, that's not good when we've got flying beasts in the sky. And no moves left, so nothing left to do but end our turn. All right, we're getting cold here. It is rainy. It is nasty outside. Uh, nothing to do but keep moving. All right, and this box means that there's stuff in this grid. Stuff in this grid, so let's check it out. We've got berries, red berries, <laughs> and we've got stones, okay? Now, uh, I can take these berries and eat them. I'm not very hungry yet, though, and I don't trust red berries. Those things could be poisonous for all I know. So I'm not going to take that gamble yet. I'm going to keep on moving. All right. Up or down, up or down, up or down. Let's go down. Uh, and we move... What the hell? Oh, shit. Okay. I don't know what's happening. There's there's something here, though, it seems. Uh, let's search the area for hidden targets. Uh, doesn't look like anything happened. Okay. Um, let's do a blind retreat. All right. Well, we, we blindly retreated. We're still alive, and we have two moves in which to scavenge. Let's scavenge the forest and see if we can't find anything. And we did. What'd we find? We got some shrooms. We got some berries. We got some rocks, and we got some trees. Um, well, trees. Use or craft to add more wood. Okay, use. Oh, look at that. That's created a bunch of wood. I got medium-sized sticks. I've got a very large branch. But nothing with which to carry them. So, like, nothing really I could do just yet with those. But it's good to know that I could do that. And I'm blind. Why am I blind? Is it because I'm dark? Have I been blinded? What happened to me? So many questions. All right, I've got one more move. So let's try to move to this town. End our turn. Whew. Luckily, the rain stopped. That's, uh, that's good. Here we go. Into here. We're going to scavenge. All right, we've got an abandoned house and an abandoned mobile home. All right. Hopefully we can find some stuff in here. Nope. Not so lucky. It's okay. We've still got an abandoned mobile home. Nothing. Oh. I got a bad feeling about this, you guys. We have not found really much of anything yet. We did find that multi-tool. All right, we've got two spots here. Should we move down or should we move forward let's yeah moving forward seemed like a good idea and let's scavenge the woods looks like the loot rate's pretty good nope but we still don't find anything son of a bitch all right four moves here scavenge confirm all right we found some stuff and we also probably alerted some nearby creatures but Whatever. Okay, we've got some water, we've got some wood, and we've got more mushrooms. I'll drink the water just because we can. But, and we're freezing. Oh, God, we have moderate hypothermia. This is bad news, guys. This is real bad news. All right, let's move down. No, we're out of moves. I'm gonna end that turn. What's this? We've got a, some kind of an animal down there. It's a feral dog. I don't like that. I'm gonna move two spots here. We're gonna move... There and there. And we've got a, looks like some ruins here. We'll move into next. Let's sleep here. We're going to sleep in... Looks like the only place to sleep right now is... Any old spot on the ground. <laughs> okay. And we are sleeping on any old spot on the ground. We've got three moves. I can search around here and use a move, but I want to move down to this town instead. I feel like that'd be a better idea. We've got crumbling apartment buildings and a destroyed office building. Let's check the apartment building first. Yeah, we found some stuff. What do we got? Ha ha! We got Waves potato chips, guys. Gonna eat those. Yep. Yum, yum, yum. We've got a plastic sled. Oh. I don't know how to use that. Let's see. Can I use it? Take. Yeah, I took it. It's in my vehicles, guys. We have a vehicle now. We have a sled. Oh, we got Blinkies, which are like Twinkies. Oh, I love Twinkies. Oh, I'm going to eat some of those. We got some uh, a bottle. We got an empty whiskey bottle. Some shards. All right, looks like all the good stuff. We're going to drink that while we can. And we got <laughs> ketchup, too. Oh, a plastic bag, you guys. This is fantastic. So the plastic bag, we can equip, and we could use that to carry stuff. All right, 
We're going to use that to take this bottle because we could fill it up with water. Uh, scrap of paper, food, meat. That looks like a... Let's see. Can't fit the wavies potato chips, can I? Nope. Can't fit both those things. Wait, where did my bottle go? Did I... Oh, I think I threw away the bottle. Okay, I'll take this whiskey bottle instead. Okay, we're going to keep on moving. We're going to keep on moving. All right, we're still getting colder. We're going to want to watch that. We definitely don't want to freeze to death. That would be the worst thing to do at this point. Scavenge and see if we can't find more good stuff. Nothing there. We've got... Let's, uh... No, let's not sleep yet. That's not what I want to do. We're going to scavenge. Rotted floorboard. Your foot slips through a rotting floorboard, causing you to trip, and the scrapes and bruises will sting for a while, but thankfully it wasn't more serious. Didn't find anything. Didn't find nothing but a hurt foot. Son of a bitch. All right, let's rest and heal. All right, so we heal a little bit, but we're still getting cold. What the hell is that? What? There's a melon head here? Oh, that thing looks creepy. And this melon, melon head has a punch ability? Oh, God. Uh, he's feeble, though, and he's barefooted. And I'm barefooted. I'm pulling a sled awkwardly. I'm unable to run, and I'm bleeding. I'm a fucking mess. Okay. Uh, what I could do is equip my weapon if I wanted to. See that? Multi-blade. And... He's at a range of five, which means that he's not at close range to really attack me yet. Uh, I don't really want to start shit. Remember, I said that I didn't want to be that kind of guy. So let's go ahead and fall back. There we go. And the melon head advances as I fall back. So I'm going to... Let's see what I'm going to do. I'm going to demand the target surrender. I'm going to threaten it. I'm going to... What else can I do? Offer to talk. Hey, buddy. Let's do that. Hey, buddy. Hey, melon head. I don't want to talk. Uh, player offers to talk to the melon head, and the player is temporarily distracted. Oh, great. All right. Oh, the melon head is on me. Melon head charges at the player. We are now facing each other. Oh, it, the shit is going down. So I can do a melee surge. Uh, I can use the melee attack. Chance to hit target one to three times and stun them for one. Automatically lose one term. Must be in melee range. Must see the target. High chance of being detected if hidden. Now, I'm not detected. He's right next to me. I could run or I could fight. Now that he's right next to me, I feel like we should fight. Let's do it. Let's melee. Melee surge. Uh, Melonhead bruised player's head with a punch. Oh, Melonhead. Melonhead's bleeding. Okay, good. Uh, now what do we do? We're gonna do, uh... Low chance of making me vulnerable. High chance of being... I'm not hidden, so let's just do a plain old melee attack this time. A player attacks Melonhead, and I hit him! And the player scratched Melonhead's lower chest with a multi-blade tool. Yeah, let's keep doing it. Come on, Melonhead. Uh... What happened here? Okay. Another attack. Bam! Bam! Player attack Melonhead and hits. Player graze Melonhead's upper chest with the multi-blade turtle. Melonhead's bleeding. All right, let's, let's keep it up. Oh, Melonhead's running now. Melonhead is exposed to an easy attack for a moment. All right, let's, uh, let's advance. Okay, and the Melonhead's bleeding. He's running. Okay, it sounds like he's uh, we, we've scared him off. So let's just run away now. Oh, and we found a, uh, a sleeping bag here. Up ahead, it looks like there's some, uh, there's an abandoned car. It's covered in filth. Uh, it's been here a while. It's hard to tell if there's anything inside. And we open the door, and what falls out but a sleeping bag? Take it. Yeah. It's filthy, and you shudder to think of all the things that might have lived in here over the years. But it's warm, and not freezing to death beats hygiene any day. Note, sleeping bags must be on the ground or in your camp when ending a turn to have any effect. All right, that's good information. We've got a sleeping bag, which is going to keep us warm. Oh, this is great. Uh, so let's go ahead and leave that car. All right. So we leave the husk of the car behind. And we're going to rest and heal for sure. We're going to take the sleeping bag. And we're going to put it in our campsite. And rest and heal. Look at that. 
Sleeping bags working already. We're freezing. We're getting warm now. Let's go ahead and rest and heal again. Yeah, we're warming up. This is good. Oh, just in time, too, because the rain's coming down now. All right. I feel like we should rest and heal a little bit more. I just want to do that until... There we go. Get that temperature up. Now we could leave the campsite. Let's see, we're still barefoot. We're unable to run. We're pulling a sled awkwardly, and we're using a sleeping bag. We're shivering. All right. We're not in great shape, but we're not terrible shape either. We're going to keep on moving. Two moves left. Okay, we're into the town now, where we're going to rest and heal one more time. Now we can do some scavenging. Outdoor temp. Uh, we're getting colder, but it's okay. We're not freezing just yet. And we're going to scavenge. In a building. An office building. Confirm that. Oh, we found some stuff. What did we find? Look at that. We found a tactical boot. That's a good boot, guys. Let's put that on the old foot. We're going to need to find one other boot eventually, but off to a good start. We got some clothes here, too. We're going to put on some blue jeans. Bam. We got a... Two Cornicola t-shirts. That's good. We're going to put that on. Oh, look at that. It's a makeshift rag shoe. That ain't a boot, but it's better than nothing. Put that on the old other foot there. Got improper footwear. That might bite us in the ass later, but let's see. We got some painkillers. That's got to be a good thing, right? Another disposable trash bag, but we've already got one. I, yeah. Hold off on taking that. A monkey wrench. Now, that sounds like it could be useful, but it's too big. It's too big to carry. Can't take it. Uh, oh, we do have pockets down here, though. I forgot about that. Because we've got blue jeans on now, so we can put stuff in our pocket. A little bit of extra carrying space. Alright. And pebbles, and a piece of paper, drugs for sale, open your drug market. 